Hey guys, Cal Torak here. Today I am bringing you my Phase 4 Pre-Raid Heat Level 3 Best in Slot list. Boy, that was a mouthful. Shout out to my guild leader Aethish for helping me build out this list. He created lists for our entire guild and was able to help me clean up my own list. A few things of note. This list is set up for a situation where you have no Pally Aura, Shaman Totem, or Improved Mark of the Wild. While most fights you can guarantee having Improved Mark, Gar can purge your buffs. If he purges your Improved Mark and you dip below the Fire Resistance Threshold, you will die. Pally Aura and Shaman Totem can also be unreliable due to their limited ranges, so this list is aimed to cover that. This list will also contain zero raid drops. No loot from Molten Core, Sunken Temple, and Nomer. No world boss loot or crazy hard items to get like Blade of Eternal Darkness. No PvP items, not everyone is willing to grind out rank 10. Also, this list will contain zero bind on pickup profession items. This list is designed in a way that anyone should be able to make it work. Here we are at 235 fire res, and this is with mage armor. Right now we play Balefire Bolt, so mage armor is what we use, not Molten Armor. Let's start with Flare Core. This will be the biggest investment of gold for your Heat 3 journeys, but also net you the most fire resistance per piece, so definitely worth doing. These three pieces net you 70 fire resistance, 86 spell damage, and a nice amount of stamina and int. To get these pieces, you will need tailors to craft you the base items, which you can then exchange for fine pieces. You exchange them at Lokthos in the BRD bar. To exchange these items, you will need Firelands Embers from the new daily quest, so make sure you are doing your dailies. Speaking of dailies, they reward Hydraxian Rep, which we need. Once you are honored, you are able to get a quest chain that leads to the Tidal Loop. In order to get this item, you will need to talk to Duke Hydraxis once honored. He sends you on a chain that eventually leads you to Molten Core. Inside Molten Core, you'll need to kill some trash, and then you'll need to do another quest to loot the hands from Lucifron, Gehennis, Shazra, and Sulphuron. Once you turn this hand quest in, you will get Tidal Loop. I know I said no raid loot, but this is very easy to get and doesn't depend on you winning a roll. If you are clearing MC on heat levels 1 or 2 before venturing to heat 3, this will be a very easy item to get. Drakefire Amulet from the Onyxia attunement chain is an easy add, plus 15 FR there. Mage Flame Cloak is a great item for us fire mages, it's a BOE world drop. The FR plus fire damage is great. If Mage Flame Cloak is too expensive, you can farm Wildfire Cape instead. It drops in Ubers. Flame Weave Cups of Fiery Wrath or of Stamina for Bracers. 10 FR here. For our offhand, Magastone for 15 FR. Drops from Magmus and BRD. Miniaturized Fire Extinguisher is a great item. We don't lose all that much from Trinkets and 20 FR is huge. This drops in the new dungeon off of Zilgabob, the Shredder boss. Here are a few alternative fire pieces you can go after. For boots, you can go for Fire Striders. They drop from Balzanar and Strat Live. Incidic Bracers from Lord Insidious give 14 fire resistance, but no stats. Eye of Flame is a great helmet. It gives 15 FR and 43 fire damage, which is massive. It's still a very expensive piece, and since we're already investing a lot in the Flare Core, I opted to not pursue this helmet. There's also Torch of Austin, a BOE world drop wand with 10 FR. I went with Spellweaver's Turban because it gives hit, which most of our fire pieces do not. We also get 1% hit from Rune Band of Wizardry, which is from the .5 boss in Ubers, Omnicast Boots from BRD, and Sorcerer's Belt from the .5 chain, putting our hit total at 4%. For Wand, I put Bone Creeper Stylus, but if you have the Sunken Temple Wand, it's better. If you don't have Huber's Blade or Blade of Eternal Darkness, pair Inventor's Focal Sword with Magmus Stone. For Enchants, I went with the Normal. We got 20 FR from the Librum of Resilience on Helms and Pants. These should go down in price over time with the new increased drop rates. Hydraxian Wildlords has a 20 FR to Cloak Enchant. Argent Dawn has 2 enchants for Shoulders. If you are Revered, you can get 5 Fire Resistance to Shoulders. If you are Exalted, you can get 15. I built this list around being Revered, which I assume most of you will not be Exalted when making your sets. If you are Exalted, you have 10 extra Fire Resistance to work with. A few other alternate pieces are Miniaturized Combustion Chamber from Nomer and Brilliant Chromatic Cloak, which is craftable but expensive. Overall, I feel like this list is very obtainable and it's definitely good enough for you to clear Heat Level 3. Here's the thing though, boys. Most of us aren't Noda. Most of us aren't in guilds full of members of their caliber. 
And that's okay. You don't have to clear heat level three week one of launch. Take your time building out your fire resistance sets. Head into Molten Core on heat level one and two and start picking up some good raid loot on the side. A lot of the pieces in the raid also have fire resistance, so that will help build out your sets as well. Enjoy the game at your pace, and once you are in Heat 3, I'm sure you will have a blast. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Take care, and see you in the next one, boys.